Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a link to the single entry page um, for your events in Gravity Calendar. So as you can see, I've got a calendar set up here, and there are a few events happening in August. So if I hover over these events, you can see no extra information shows up here. It's just the name of the event and the time that it starts. So we want the user to be able to click through to the single entry page and actually see all the details for that specific event. So to get this set up, um, there are two parts to this. The first part is to create a view in Gravity View um, with uh, connected to your calendar event form. And then the second part is to actually go ahead and add a link to the single entry page in your calendar feed. So let's start with the view. Um, I'm not going to go over view creation in this video. It's probably something you're familiar with. Um, if not, you can check out our documentation. We've got lots of uh, guides about this. But um, as you can see, I've got this view set up here in Gravity View, and you can see the data source. It is connected to my calendar form. That's the same form that's feeding event information to my Gravity calendar. That's very important. So if I scroll down here, you can see I've got um, event fields added here to my view. And you'll have noticed that this is actually the single entry layout. So you have to make sure that that is configured. If we go to the multiple entries layout, you can see that's also configured and I've got a link here. The event name is currently linking through to the single entry. All right, so I've got my view set up. I've got my single entry layout and it's currently showing all the additional information for that meeting that I want to show. Uh, including the event description, start time, end time, organizer, the organizer's email address, and the meeting link. All right, so that's great. So once you've got your view set up, uh, make sure to scroll up here, um, publish the view, and then take note of the view ID here, which is the number inside the shortcode here. So in this case, it's 957. Okay, so we're going to need that in the next step. So now uh, let's head over to the forms page in Gravity Forms. And I've just done a quick search here for calendar. And here is my calendar form. So I'm going to uh, hover over settings here and click on Gravity View Calendar. And here I want to edit the calendar feed that I created. Here we go, edit. So this is the calendar feed I created for my Gravity Calendar. And I want to edit this to add a link through to the single entry. So the first thing I'm going to do is scroll down here to the event description. And to add the link, we're going to use the GV entry link shortcode. So the first part of the shortcode, GV underscore entry underscore link. And then the, ne the first parameter is the view ID. And in this case, we said it was 957. Okay, and then we need to add the entry ID. And because this is, this is going to be dynamic, we can use a Gravity Forms merge tag for this. So if we just click on the merge tag uh, insert icon here, and the merge tag we want, we can search for it, is the entry ID. There we go, entry ID. All right. And then we're going to add our link text next, in this case, view details. And then finally, we'll close off the shortcode. All right, so that's done. There's one final thing we need to do. So we need to scroll down here and allow HTML content. All right, done. So let's update this feed, save settings. And now we can go back to our calendar page, refresh the page. And now if I hover over one of the events, as you can see, I've got this little tooltip with a view details link. And if I click on that, that takes me through to the event single entry page where I can view more information about that event, including the description, start time, end time, the organizer, the organizer's email, and here is the meeting link. In this case, it's a Zoom link. All right, so that's it. So hopefully now you know how to add a link to your events that takes users through to the single entry page in Gravity View.